Hi, my name is Wyatt Sinak. Uh, I am the host of Wyatt Sinak's Problem Areas and the web series, aka Wyatt Sinak. And I am here to answer questions that you are too afraid to ask. Pseudo Robot asks, what are some subtle ways to piss off work colleagues? I think the most subtle ways are just moving some of the things on their desk just a little bit. Like move their coffee mug, just like three inches and their keyboard a little further away. And that way they don't know like if they're kind of losing it or like if they try to reach for their, for their coffee mug and it's three inches further away than it used to be, they'll think, oh wait, are my arms getting shorter? And they'll get a complex about it and maybe go to a doctor. They're just gonna be so annoyed because they're like, I went out of network outside of my doctor visits I paid for a doctor to find out my arms aren't actually shrinking and now that doctor thinks I'm an idiot I'm gonna find a new doctor because that doctor doesn't respect me because that's a big thing a lot of times with your work colleagues is they don't just want their co-workers to respect them they want their doctors to respect them penguin pigeon hybrid asks why do famous atheists always hang out with other famous atheists only God knows three underscore mighty underscore ninja underscore ducks and the reason I said all the underscores, I know I don't have to, but somewhere out there, there's a three mighty ninja ducks who's not afraid to ask questions. And this underscores the problem that three underscore mighty underscore ninja underscore ducks has. Anyway, they asked, is, cri is cryptocurrency a scam or not? I said Crisco currency at first, which Crisco's, Crisco currency, not a scam. You can definitely trade Crisco for anything. There are people out there who are constantly looking for a fish fry and they just don't have enough Crisco. So that is a currency. Now cryptocurrency, is that a scam or not? It's a scam until all the weirdos who have invested in it get enough legislative power to run your life. Then all of a sudden it's a great idea. Left-handed right brain asks, Seriously, why is Ross from Friends so hated? Honestly, I think he's hated because he's an archaeologist. People generally just hate archaeologists. They don't want to be reminded about dinosaurs. There are other issues in this world and people, I think a lot of times are like, why are you showing me dinosaur bones right now? There's Flint still doesn't have water and you're gonna talk to me about a T-Rex you found? F*** you. And that's just, it's the archaeologist's lament.